Hello everyone, I Anud Hariwal welcome you all to the class. Children we are beginning with the literature portion in this session. We are taking first chapter from your NCRT textbook Honeycomb. The title of the chapter is three questions. Before beginning with the chapter, let's talk about the author first. The author of this chapter is Leo Tolstoy. He was born on September 9, 1828 and died on 20 November 1910. He was a novelist considered one of the most important writers of world literature. His most famous works are War and Peace and Anna Karenina. As you can see in the slide, here is a picture of Leo Tolstoy. Before beginning with the chapter, children, I would request all of you to read the chapter with me. As you can see all the lines on your screen. So, let's begin with the chapter. The thought came to a certain king that he would never fail if he knew three things. So, there was a king and he thought if he knew three things, he would never fail in his life. These three things were, number one, what is the right time to begin something? Which people should he listen to? This is number two. And number three, what is the most important thing for him to do? So these were the three questions that the king was looking the answers for. What is the right time to begin something? Which people should he listen to? And what is the most important thing for him to do? So the king therefore sent messengers throughout his kingdom promising a large sum of money to anyone who would answer these three questions. So what did the king do? He sent messengers. Messengers are people who take message from one place to the other. So the king had many messengers. He sent them throughout his kingdom promising them a large sum of money to anyone who would answer these three questions. So he said whosoever can answer my three questions I would give him a large sum of money. Many wise men came to the king but they all answered his question differently. Now many people came, they answered his questions, but they all answered differently. Now, in reply to the first question, some said the king must prepare a timetable and then follow it strictly. Only in this way, they said, could he do everything at its proper time? So, in reply to the first question, so what was the first question children? The first question was, what is the right time to begin something? So, the answer that people gave to his first question was that he must prepare a timetable and then follow it. Because this is the only way that he could do everything at his proper time. Others said that it was impossible to decide in advance the right time for doing something. They said it is impossible to decide. That what you have to do in the future, how can you decide something in advance? The king should notice all that was going on. Avoid foolish pleasures and always do whatever seemed necessary at that time. They said the king must avoid doing all foolish things, all the things that was not necessary and only do the things that are necessary at that time. Yet, others said that the king needed a council of wise men who would help him act at the proper time. So, what do you mean by a council, children? A council is a group of people chosen to give advice or to make rules. So, people suggested him that you need a council of wise men who would help you to act at the proper time. This was because one man would find it impossible to decide correctly without help from others the right time for every action. They said it is not possible for one single man that what is the right time for every action. So you need a council of wise men. 
you need many of them but then other said that there were some things which could be urgent these things could not wait for the decision of the council in order to decide the right time for doing something it is necessary to look into the future and only magicians could do that the king therefore would have to go to magicians so other people said that there are many things that are urgent and which are very necessary to be solved at that time so it is not always possible that we wait for the decision of the council that when they'll give us the order only then we'll solve those problems and they said in order to decide the right time for doing something if you have to decide which time is the best to start something or do something you would have to look into the future and it is not possible for the common people only magicians could do it so they said the king will have to go to the magicians this is it for today children the second part of the story will be continued in the next session